Hey YouTube, I wanted to make a quick video again of uh, flow out of my Lumberzoco GS3 because there's some discussion that when a pump delivers nine bar of pressure, if you aren't getting flow out of the group head, that excess pressure needs to go somewhere. And on the new Lumberzoco GS3 conical valve, which this does not have, um, the machine apparently vents a ton of pressure out of the exhaust port, which you would see flow here just like when you would kill a shot. You're basically opening the exhaust port of the right and shaft, which dumps out your puck much like a three-way solenoid does on other espresso machines. So what I want to show is that, well, that's not true. The pressure doesn't have to go anywhere. It would sit on the bypass area of the rotary vane pump. So... Let me demonstrate that by, I'm going to I'm gonna turn the lever on, you're, I'm going to move it to you hear a whirbling sound. That whirbling sound means that the inlet of the right and shaft is basically exposing uh, enough of a hole for the water to flow. So you'll see real slow flow out of here, but out of the exhaust, you're not going to see anything because that excess pressure is just sitting in the back in the rotary vane pump waiting to be delivered. So here you go. Okay, you can hear the pump. Now you hear a little bit of whirbling. Notice, let's see if I can get that. Very little water coming out, right? But the pump is delivering nine bar pressure as set on the, uh, the rotary vane itself. And notice there's the exhaust. And absolutely nothing is coming out of it. pressure is being delivered to it. It's being restricted by the hole in the right shaft. Nothing coming out of the exhaust port. What you're seeing kind of in this area is just nothing more than a reflection. The exhaust port is right here.